Hey everybody, you remember this? The 1968, model year 68, built in 67, silver face, drip edge, black line, black line, Fender Bandmaster amplifier head thing we got going on here, remember that? Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> Can't even get it all in frame. Nice. All right, anyway. So, um, like any uh, certified ampaholic does, they scour Reverb and Craigslist pretty much every single day. And a couple of days ago, this uh, cabinet popped up on Craigslist. Basically like three houses down the street from where I used to live. And not far from where I'm living now. Look at that. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we do have the, like I said before, the 1967 built, 1968 model year drip edge bandmaster. And when I saw the drip edge cabinet, available i had to have it um the tone nun has excommunicated me get out so whatever we're gonna have to deal with that um she's in great shape she's got a couple little holes and little blemishes in the the uh, grill cloth but other than that she's in nice shape a couple little spots on the tolex here and there but nothing to write home about uh the price was fair um you could say the price was good for an unloaded cabinet of this make and model and condition. Um, it was advertised as a 2x12 Fender Basement cabinet. This thing is so gigantic. <laughs> That's what she said? I'd be... I don't know what to do with all the space if this all that this has is 212s. But uh, let's open up the back. We'll turn it around. We'll open up the back. And then we'll find out if we got a good deal or if we got a great deal or if we got a freaking amazing deal. All right, fingers crossed, here we go. All right, here's the back side. It's got about a thousand screws on it. Uh, I can't believe Fender did not put any handles on this thing. What were they thinking? I guess they were thinking everybody has roadies or something. Would you like to see an award recognizing the meritorious achievements of the road crew? What a, look, you just gave me fucking chill bumps, oh, dude. Thanks. Cause that would be really cool. You know, the bands make it rock, but the crews make it roll. Uh, she's got about a thousand screws on her, so this is going to take a minute. But this thing's like a uh, friggin' giant coffin of surprises. That's a cool name for a song. Somebody should write a song called Coffin of Surprises. All right, give me about an hour and a half to get all these screws out. All right, so that was a, a miserable experience. Uh, what should have taken five minutes took at least an hour, probably more. Um, on the very bottom... There's a slight bit of water damage. Let me see if you can see it. It's going to be dark. But at the very, very bottom, there's a little bit of water damage. And especially on the bottom half of the cabinet, the screws were more rust than screw. So what I ended up having to do for about half of these screws to get them out is get the rotary tool with a cutoff wheel and, you know, make a, a bigger, fatter, deeper slot for the screwdriver. So I could get a nice, strong, uh, what do you call it, fit, I guess, to uh, wrench the screws out. But a whole bunch of the screws broke. Let me see if I can find. Yeah. handful of the screws broke. And two of the screws, the heads of the screw was more rust than screw. It was just a big ball of rust. So we're going to have to dig those screws out somehow. Um, but, you know, I'm sure some people would say, well, if it ain't broke, why fix it? But... You got to be able to get inside your equipment. You can't leave it like this. So I was very, very careful not to damage the cabinet. 
and uh, succeeded in that aspect, and I'm out of breath. Whew, that was a workout. All right, let's pry this sucker open, see if it was worth it. Hey, everybody. Tom Priest from the editing room here. I appear to be missing a couple of clips from this uh, this little feature presentation we did last uh, weekend. A um, couple of clips from the middle when I took the back door off, and um, so I guess I'm just going to have to do a little uh, exposition here. Is that what it's called, exposition? Expositing? Anyway, we peeled the uh, back door off, and uh, it was full of uh, yellow fiberglass, and it smelled like, you know, Vincent Price's dungeon. My reputation. <laughs> uh, so we threw all that away. So we're going to replace all the fiberglass. Um, now, after doing that, it, it still has, you know, a very mild bit of um, basement funk to it. Um, but we, uh, we're we going to clean her up, and I think that'll go away. Because, it, again, it's really mild, and she's, gonna sh she's in good shape. So uh, I guess that's all that really happened there. Just a bunch of fiberglass threw that all away. And, uh, yeah, we got the important bits. We got the good stuff. All right, back at it. All right, so this is interesting. was not expecting this. Uh, looks like we have a square back magnet, which leads me to believe it's an eminence. And this is obviously not a 212. This is a 215. So how cool is that? Um, there is a code right here. It looks like 103 something, something, something. But uh, can you read that? 108, 103. Not sure. Maybe that fourth thing is an ohm symbol. Don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's an eminence because it's a square back. But I could be wrong. But look on the bottom here. See this guy? Can we get the code? Uh, right there. 225.10. So I believe, well, this is definitely a Jensen, but I believe it's a 1965 Jensen, 10th week of 65. Uh, if it was a 75, um, it would be 220.75.10. So we have a 65 Jensen and probably an unknown eminence. Square back, both 15 inch. How fun is that, huh? Wow. Um, this is a little sketchy. I'm not sure what this is all about. I don't think that's supposed to be there. <sighs> uh, the good thing about this is if we need to replace these, uh, 15 inch speaker, vintage speakers actually are generally less expensive than 12 inch speakers because they're less in demand. So, uh, you know. And get some good stuff in here if we need it. But uh, these should sound great anyway if they're working good. All right, let's continue on. Hey, Tone Priest from the editing room again. Uh, this is going to be a part one video. There will be a part two. Uh, we're going to have to put this project on hold because I have other projects that I want to do that are going to take precedence. More important for the uh, what I want to do around here. But what I think we're going to do is we're going to save the back door. This is going to stay with the cab forever. But we're going to uh, go get a uh, piece of lumber from wherever, hardware store of my choice. Uh, and instead of being particle board, it'll be a nice piece of plywood. And we're going to make it look nice. We're going to Tolex it. We're going to find matching Tolex. And we're going to, uh, you know, give this a, a better back door for, you know, being able to use this cabinet. Um, but that's going to be in the future. So I didn't want to leave you without any sound samples. Um, so what I did do is I recorded just a couple of clips that I, uh, you know, I did, they weren't framed or anything like that for video for a tone priest video. They were just uh, clips I was sending to my buddy. Uh, but they came out all right. So, uh, we'll give you a little taste and uh, something to look forward to. Um, please forgive my guitar playing. Uh, you know, I'm terrible, but, uh, we do what we can. So, uh, without further ado, let's get back to the regular, reg regularly scheduled program. Fender, Fender. Check this shit out. We're hooked up to the Bandmaster. We're on 5. 5, 5, 5. Everything's at noon. Normal channel. <laughs> Yeah.
All right, Bandmaster, I got the, uh, what are you gonna call it? Tube Screamer, a little bit of reverb, that's it. <laughs> Basement cab. Let's uh, we don't have basement head, but a bandmaster is almost identical. Um, let's play the bass. on two. so forth yeah um i'm gonna be buried in this thing hey check out the blue glow on your 6v6 it's fucking awesome uh we got a champ hooked up to a 215 cab i haven't done this yet let's see what it sounds like uh give me a pick pick <laughs> Use the dynamite stick for a phallus. They found a vagina in North Carolina. Just 
shut up and leave me alone now. <laughs> thing in the world but it's it's loud dad the wife was home she'd be throwing pans at me but uh sounds fucking amazing there you go champ into a 215 you saw it here first done <laughs> 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 <laughs>